This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by GoDaddy. What's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Ask the Buffalo. I'm your host, John Rettinger. On this edition, we are going to talk about the Nintendo 3DS price drop. We're going to talk about the PSP Go and the upcoming PSP Vita. We're going to talk about what's going on with Google TV. And we're going to talk a little bit about me personally and my life before YouTube. Let's go ahead and get started. So thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of Ask the Buffalo. You can ask me, John Rettinger, any question you want from the wide, wide world of technology. And you can ask these questions one of two ways. First, you can send a message to me on Twitter at john 4 lakers or at TechnoBuffalo. Use the hashtag AskTheB and you can ask me anything you want. You can send those questions in 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Otherwise, once a week on technobuffalo.com, we'll put up an article asking you to send in your questions for things that you want answered. It can be obscure questions, it can be broad questions, it can be anything that you just want to know, whether it's a how-to or how to fix something that might be wrong with your phone or tablet. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So our first question comes from user Josh, who asks, John, what do you think about the Nintendo 3DS price drop? This is Nintendo's white flag waving, saying we're sorry that we put 3D on there. We know it hurts your eyes, we know we don't have good launch titles, and we know you probably don't care that much about 3D. Uh, effective August 12th, Nintendo was going to be dropping the price from $249 to $169, effectively sticking it to those early adopters that went out and picked up a Nintendo 3DS uh, when it was first released, including myself. Uh, so this new price point is going to represent a loss on each console sold for Nintendo, which is not a new thing. Most console manufacturers, whether they're physical consoles that sit under your TV or portable consoles, they generally do take a loss on each of those, especially on the early stages of manufacturing. Certainly as they get older and components become cheaper to manufacture, they make up that profit. Uh, but they do make their money on game sales and game licensing, and Nintendo is hoping that a cheaper price is going to make more people want to hop on the 3DS bandwagon. I think the best thing to make people hop on the 3DS bandwagon would be release what everybody wants on a Nintendo console, release a Mario game. Uh, I've been loving playing my Ocarina of Time on the 3DS, but I do it with the 3D off, so really it hasn't been uh, any sort of giant improvement to me. And certainly if you have a Wii, go ahead and download the game from the virtual console, and you get almost the same experience, assuming you don't want the portable side of it. So what do you guys think? Price drop, is it a good thing, is it a bad thing? Is it a harbinger of very bad things for Nintendo? Curious what you guys have to say. All right, so our next question comes from Ma Fa Trios, who asks, John, should I get the PSP Go or wait until 2012 for the PS Vita? That question, my friend, is a no-brainer. First of all, PSP Go has been pretty much been discontinued by Sony. Uh, it was a non-physical media uh, version of the PSP, so you had to download all the games, it had a smaller screen, some cramped controls, it was a slide out. People just didn't like it. Now it's reflected in sales. So Sony has laid down the axe. Uh, you can probably get it for a huge discounted price, but don't do it. Don't go for the PSP Go. Wait until the Vita. It's certainly going to come in early, hopefully, 2012. And everything we're hearing looks like it is going to be absolutely awesome. So Viva la Vita. Wait for that one. Our next question is about a topic I haven't talked about in quite a while, Google TV. It comes from Google TV 25 who asks, should I get a Google TV now? I want a Blu-ray player and heard the Sony Google TV has that. And you can search the web. Should I buy it now or wait till the new one? And when do you think that will be? Thanks. Google TV has been the stepchild of Google. Uh, it was launched with giant fanfare. It has a cool, cool new features in it, but it's been sort of languished to a fringe product. Uh, lack of product updates, we've been promised and promised and promised Android App Store, which hasn't been delivered. Uh, we've been promised and updates in the OS, which hasn't been delivered. Uh, I would stay very far away from Google TV until we see an update, which is rumored uh, coming very soon, perhaps to the IFA show, uh, which Techno Buffalo is going to be at in Germany towards the end of August. So wait, 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 wait. If you want a Blu-ray player that can do all kinds of cool stuff, uh, check out Samsung. You're going to be able to get their sort of smart uh, player and get all kinds of cool widgets in there, including Netflix, Hulu Plus, Vudu, and all kinds of awesome video features. So my recommendation, 
definitely, definitely wait. So I want to take a break from answering questions to thank our friends and sponsors at GoDaddy, the guys that keep the wheels of Techno Buffalo running. Uh, looking to drive viewers to your video content? Then get a .tv domain name and stand out from the crowd. .tv domain names are perfect for podcast and video bloggers like me or anyone with something to say. They're also available on GoDaddy.com. And remember, you can download GoDaddy's free iPhone, Android, or BlackBerry app to order right away from your phone or manage your domains or more. Uh, check out revision3.com slash GoDaddy for a list of all the amazing GoDaddy deals from Revision 3. If you want to get a pretty good deal uh, and show your support for Techno Buffalo, use the code BUFFALO1 for 10% off your order. Show your support for us and you get 10% off your order. Everybody wins. Our next question is a bit on the personal side. It comes from Bob Centinella who asks, John, what did you do before you became a tech reviewer? Uh, well, I was in marketing. I was running a marketing department for a software development company. And I've mentioned this before, I hated my job. I used to hope I was gonna get in a minor car accident, not big enough where someone would get hurt. Maybe I like I'd hit a stop sign. So I had an excuse not to go. And I sort of looked at what I loved and what I enjoyed and technology is what I loved and what I enjoyed. And I really tried to find a way to make technology my life. Uh, I was very lucky. I was in the right place at the right time. Uh, but if you guys have a passion for something, whether it's tech or sports, whatever it might be, pursue it and try and make it your career. If you try and fail, at least you know that you'll have given it your best effort. So that's my advice. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Ask the Buffalo. We'll be coming at you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with all new techno buffaloness. I'm your host, John Rettinger. I'll see you in the next video. Cool beans, cool beans. What does that mean? What does that mean? Cha-cha.